Our next guest, uh, Darren McGavin, is one of the busiest and most sought-after actors around today with uh, more credits than most actors accumulate in their entire careers. He shows absolutely no signs of slowing down now after a, a 40-year career in the show business. A marvelous actor, Mr. Darren McGavin, everybody. Hey, Darren. How you doing? How are you? <laughs> nice to see you. Come on in and sit down and spend Thank a few you, minutes sir. with us. Thank you. Yeah, we wanted to talk with you about uh, your career and all the different stops along the way and how you're on the road so much and what you do to, you know, stay healthy. Well, it's, it's staying healthy is one thing. Being on the road is another. Mm -hmm. It really is a, a, a difficult time. When we first went to California years ago, they made motion pictures and television and things there. They don't make them there anymore. They make them all around the yeah, country. Right. And if you're going to be in motion pictures, you're going to be literally in the last year and a half, I guess we've been on location in Cleveland mm -hmm. and uh, Toronto and Buffalo and Albany and uh, mm. Atlanta. So what are the things you do to preserve your sanity on the road? Well, we carry like a caravan, a lot of stuff with us. I mean, like uh, a, a rowing machine and an exercise cycle. Do you use and, them, Darren? Uh, yes. Well, I, they, well, they greet me in the morning and say, good morning, Darren. And I say, good morning. Uh -huh. Stare them down and walk yeah, away. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and uh, no, we try to, we try to, yeah, I'm in shape a little bit. So you carry your exercise equipment with you? Well, that and my wife and a few <laughs> other things. <laughs> She's the best exercise equipment I've got. She I'm takes good care of you, doesn't yes, she? Yes, she does indeed. She's yeah. in charge of uh, the meals and all of that. Well, yeah, it's it's hard though, you know, when you get out of town. It really is because you don't have the, you don't if you, unless you carry your, your whole kitchen with you. Mm -hmm. You're dependent upon what's in the apartments. Exactly. Sure, you know, and we've given up hotel living. Really? Oh, that's it. I mean, we've just had it. The, you, you look at a room menu, and by the time you're there three days, you know it by heart. Yeah. So you say, well, let me see. We'll take number three on the right side and four in the column B. And you're getting away pretty and easily in those hotels. immediately, and everything is filled with salt and sugar. So we try to hold those things back. You know? But are you much of a health buff? Well, I'm not, but Kathy is, mm -hmm. which is fortunate for me, uh, insofar that I don't have to worry too much about it. Except when I'm on location alone, and it's uh -huh. terrible. We were up in Toronto doing a, a Christmas story. And I took an apartment, and I cooked by myself. Kathy was stuck down here in New York doing some things in business that we had. And I put on about 20 pounds. No kidding, Ooh, with your own cooking. Yes, huh? well, I'm a wonderful cook. <laughs> and you can't stop eating it. I can't cooking. stop eating it. It's wonderful. Boy, this I mean, is good. That's great bouillon, <laughs> and, you know, and, and uh, veal, and oh, I love it. You know, years ago, I remember seeing a photo layout of uh, your home in California. And uh, you had some uh, very serene Chinese type gardens behind your home, as I recall. And uh, the picture layout had you in your white robe strutting around your garden, <laughs> folding your arms and looking out over your little Chinese statues. <laughs> What was that all about? Uh, that was nothing about it. I just had a nice robe that I put on, and, and uh, the, the photographer got there early, mm -hmm. actually. And he caught got, you out there. Yeah, right? and caught me out in the garden and said, that's fine, hold it right there, terrific, <laughs> snap, and that was the end. And all of a sudden, people said, my God, Darren McGavin is into meditation. <laughs> and all these things, no, no, nothing no, like that. No, <laughs> no, I did got caught with my robe on, you know. <laughs> now, when you gain these 20 pounds, you know, because your roles come up so quickly and all of a sudden you're into another situation and you've got to maintain that zvelte to the figure. Do you go on a particular diet? Uh, yes, Carl, Kathy's no food. <laughs> Nothing at all? Nothing at all. No, it's lettuce and greens and uh, I try to sneak in as much protein as I can, you know, mm -hmm. which she does too. But we, we try to keep it down. Yeah. And uh, no starch, no bread. I say, where was the, where was my toast for breakfast? She says, you ate it, didn't you know that? <laughs> You've already had it. Uh, she takes good care of it. Yeah, she she loves her husband. Yes, thank God. How long have you been married now? Well, I say 15, she says 12. So somewhere or another there's a discrepancy in there. It really had to do with a change of decades. Uh -huh. We got married on New Year's Eve, 1969, so you figure it out. New Year's Eve, 1969. 1969. So it's either 14 or 15. 15 depending upon... I don't know where 12 came from. <laughs> it's a privilege. I mean, that's a lady, right? Did you see me on the ski machine? I loved it. I loved it. That's one of the reasons I'll never do game shows. You have to do things like that. I can't stand it. <laughs> have you ever skied before? Never. Never. Now, Darren, do you, you don't go to a gym? No. No. And uh, not, not a health club. I don't even swim with my hips a lot. And you don't swim? <laughs> no, no, I swim. You yeah. swim a little bit. Yeah. And that's about it. That's about it, yeah. you know. And the rowing machine and the bicycle, and that's enough, I mm -hmm. think. You know, that and healthy uh, push-ups. You do do push-ups? 
No, he doesn't do push-ups. We're desperately searching to find something Darren McGavin does. Doesn't do anything. Don't you understand that? Now stop asking him what he does. Doesn't do anything. Leave him alone. Oh, boy. I, I Let's almost... Let's just sit I here and talk. That one <laughs> almost said he did because he knew I would say, okay, Darren, give me 20 right here. <laughs> but you sure look like you're a stalker, I'll tell you that. Yeah. That great Irish face, yeah, that's what does it, huh? You look marvelous, I must say. Very you much. just simply... <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I knew him when he was chubby, you know. That was... That's right. You want to know something? But I have found that if I just lose about five, maybe six pounds, that all of a sudden that chubbiness disappears. Yeah. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah, it's true. Anyway, it's listen, true. I, want to, I want you to take good care of yourself. Bless your heart. Thanks for stopping by. No, it's, it's always nice a charm. And okay. we'll do it again. All right, fine. Darren McEvan.